Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. And in this video, we're going to be checking out, as recommended in the Discord, the main theme from Elden Ring. But before we do any of that, we need to hear about the sponsor of today's video, Gothic Jewelry. Well, I'm going to head over to their website at gothic.com. That's G-T-H-I-C.com. And yes, you can find the link for that in the video description below. And look what we have here. Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales with up to 70% off. Let's take a look. I click the link. It's even better. It's up to 80% on the Cyber Monday sale. I'm going to take a look around and see what I can find. This is cool. This is wild. But check this out. There is a pirate ring right here. This one on the far left looks pretty cool, but folks, there is a Jason Voorhees hockey mask ring right here. This is amazing. I scrolled down and found so much variety. We have rings, pendants, accessories, bracelets, chains, earrings, and this looks like a Sauron ring right here. I think I might need that one. I scrolled down a little further and found they sell more chains, a pretty sweet eagle, and they even sell clothes. Look at these pants you can get. But for me, I'm looking for rings. So I'm going to click on shop rings in here. And oh my God, I can tell you right now, this one on far right, this will be mine. Okay, I'm going to play some orders and I'll be back with you in a couple minutes. A few moments later. As you can see here, I ordered my favorite flat gray ring. And then of course that opened a door to my nerdy side and I had to get an Elven script silver ring. And since we went that direction, I needed a wizard looking ring that's between orange and yellow. So I got this sweet one. If we're going to even talk about wizards, we have to go with Lord of the Rings and get the Eye of Sauron ring. And then I finished with the ring that's similar to my first one, except much larger, much heavier, and it has the Eye of Horus on it. All right, there you go. You know what to do. You've got all the information. The link is down below. Don't forget to use the code TONY20 at checkout for 20% off. Okay, before we get into that evil brass drop, um, okay, the concert bass drum at the beginning, which is like rumbling super low in the headset, by the way, it just resonates forever. There's no decay. That's that's not real. Okay, that that we have that attack and it all it decays. This is the way the instrument is here. It's like extended, which that's fine. It's cool. I really dig the nice light corded, low dynamic chords that we get that really agitated strings, and then we're obviously dropping into this brass hit here. In uh, it sounds low and pretty dark. Oh, okay, that's weird. Uh, we got dig da 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 dig da da dig da 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 dig da da. At least that's how I'm perceiving the rhythm as far as where our downs are. But the brass are like jumping. Um, their entrances are anticipating the downbeat, and it feels like it's like dig da 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 dig da ba. They're in before the down. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna go back 15 and grab that. Uh, it's it's on purpose for sure. It's not like they're making a mistake or anything, but it's cool writing. That's wild. Interesting. Okay, wow, what a uh, build right there. Um, bah, bah. There's a lot of cool intervals in there that are just like resonate dark and always stuff. We always talk about the big, dark, brooding brass. It's my favorite. So when I hear it, I'm going to geek out for it, obviously. Uh, okay, as far as the layers go, because we always talk about like how to like lay listen via layers, there's so much going on in the low end, like the drums and the bass, that concert bass resonation kind of stays the whole time. It's super muddy and like it kind of creates like we talk about like clean rhythms and clean sounds. We can think of like how things line up like this. This feels like murky water, like muddy water where there's so much sound that ironically the low brass feels like the main melody line up top, even with some like choral stuff underneath. But everything is it's so much low end dominance. It's a little bit challenging to hear things. I'm going to go back 15 seconds and it's kind of like listening to how 
base heavy defense. Wow. That was quite the ending. Big percussion stab and then fade out on our string base. Well, let me just grab the last. Let's see. It's 138. Let's just grab the last 20 seconds. Of that. that string build was cool. That is a definitive statement. Bum, bum, boom. We have that just crunch release right there. Wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, I've never played Elden Ring. I've watched <laughs> so many people were streaming that game and like all the memes and all, you know, basically how difficult that game was and all the stuff that came out of it. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't think I'll ever stream that game. So yeah, that one's not going to happen. But I dig the music from it though. That was pretty cool. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live to talk about Elden Ring or other video game music or just music in general. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as my Discord. If you'd like to support me, my Patreon information is also down there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.